There's a song I wrote, it's called You Can't Drink It Here. One, two, three, four. Get the boxes from the boat, I load them on the cave. Here's my pail, Jimmy, fill it up with beer. I'm gonna take it home, cause I can't drink it here. Can't drink it here, no, I can't drink it here. Last time I did, I had a headache for a year. The girls all want me, the boys are gonna fight. Fill it up, Jimmy, let's drink it home tonight. Hey! It's a Friday night, the boys are back in town. You know there's always trouble when they come around. My fighting days are over, Jimmy, get me out of here. Gotta take it home, I can't drink it here. Can't drink it here, no, I can't drink it here. Last time I did, I bit off somebody's ear. The girls all want me, the boys are gonna fight. Fill it up, Jimmy, we'll drink it home tonight. Hey! You know I love her so She's the only girl I want to have around, you know So fill it up for two Fill it up with beer Gonna take it home Cause I can't drink it here Can't drink it here No, I can't drink it here Last time I did I drove my car off the pier the Girls all want me The boys are gonna fight Fill it up for two We're gonna drink it home tonight Hey!
to cry. Let me go! Let me go. songs you play for kissing There are songs that hurt you tight Well this ain't one of them This ain't one of them This is the goodbye song Pack it up baby move it along It ain't right It's all wrong This is the goodbye song You can take it along with you right now. You can take it along with you right now. You can take it along with you right now. We have the Chicago Rovers in the studio. We have Mick Archer, Troy Neihart, and Edgar Gabriel, welcome, gentlemen. Thank you very welcome. much. It's great to be here. Now, uh, Mick, you used to you stopped by before. Welcome back. Thank you. It's great to be back here, Larry. Tell us about the, the gentleman you brought with us, the Chicago Rovers. The Chicago Rovers started in 1998, and it was I had just gotten back from Ireland. I Troy and I we were on the international piano bar circuit, so we were doing that. And I just fell in love with Irish traditional music when I was over there. And then that was in the 90s when. Irish music was just exploding. It was huge. Everything was just coming up Irish. So I decided to put together a band, and I had many different players in it, but it never occurred to me to ask him on accordion. Edgar I knew from doing orchestra work. In fact, we met on the road in Kansas City doing a, an orchestra gig. And then I, I just, through, through the course of time, I had a house gig at Emmett's Pub, 
over in Chicago on Halstead and, and um, uh, Milwaukee. And uh, I was using various players, and I ended up with these guys, and there was just some kind of magic. It just really, yeah. it really clicked. And uh, we've been doing this with this particular lineup for about 15 years. And uh, I'm real proud to be with these guys. These are two of the best musicians in Chicago. Oh, excellent, yeah. And what do you guys have to say about that, huh? You guys are the best. We pay him to say yes. that. Yeah, is that how it is? Nice work, thanks. It's tax deductible. Yeah. Now, Troy, you've, been, you've played all over the world. Well, there's a few places I haven't met yet. Not, you, yeah. you, you, is yeah. that on a short list to go into? That's yeah, a short list, yeah, yeah absolutely. And where, tell us about where you've played. Uh, well, yeah, I was in uh, Europe for several years, uh, Singapore, um, you know, around and about. One of the things that I'm looking forward to is uh, domestically going down to New Orleans after we get done with the St. Patty's uh, thing, uh, going down for the first annual uh, piano convention. Piano convention? Yeah. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds exciting, huh? A lot of fun. He's actually covering it for Chicago Jazz Magazine. Oh, very good. Yeah, yeah. that's got to be exciting. Now, you is a is going as a, a reporter, right? You go as well. You cover, uh, you be a reporter, right? Just to rub shoulders with friends and colleagues and such, and then yeah, as Nick said, covering it for Chicago Jazz Magazine. Do you handle it differently as uh, going there reporting or covering it? Well, I'm not going there necessarily to play. I'm going there to hobnob with friends and colleagues and such. And just kind of collect stories and pass them on to Mick and let him edit out the I, things I'm an that editor he can't at write. Chicago Jazz Magazine. Okay. So I asked Troy since he's going to represent this and send okay. back a story. And that's got to just be exciting just to go into. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's so much talent in New Orleans. It's just amazing. I mean, there's you can find music and uh, you can find a good time 24 hours a day there. Oh, I'm sure you can. Yeah. Now you are also you said you played in Europe, right? Yeah. How is the culture different there? As far as treating a musician or how musicians are treated opposed to uh, the the states? Well, it's it's interesting. There's there's still a uh, a respect for what you would what what I would describe as moderately successful or, or a moderate level of musician. And what I mean is, if you're not you know if you're not Taylor Swift here, <gasps> that's so true. Then. You're not unless you're selling mega mega units. You're not really regarded or respected as a musician. And in America, it seems like people equate celebrity with talent. And in Europe, people really respect artists of all types. And there's a there's a a, a, a support for that substructure. Okay. Anywhere in particular in the world you've played that you you really enjoyed and want to maybe play back go back there and play again. Singapore. Okay, what did you like about it? Well, it was the best of uh, East meets West. Uh, very Asian, but they spoke English was their national language, so you, you could feel like you were walking around China without getting lost. Mm. <laughs> if you got lost, you can ask for directions. Okay. Now, Edgar, how are you, sir? Very good, thank you. You've mentioned earlier you you, you teach uh, music. I teach and I play music. It's uh, you know that's all that's all I know how to do. So I'm. Um, I teach it uh, here, right here. We're in Elmhurst. I teach at Elmhurst College. I also teach at uh, Harper College, uh, and I teach everything from classical violin to jazz and rock and blues. And we got wonderful uh, electric string group going on. And you know, and I play. Uh, he has a fantastic group, String yeah. Fusion. Okay. And he's much too modest. He's done session work with some very famous people. Oh, okay. You, you care to name drop? Well, well, I, I used to work with Cirque du Soleil. Okay. And uh, I worked in Vegas and also on the road with them. That was really cool. Uh, yeah, and, uh, uh, you know, next week I'm going to go to uh, the ASTA convention. It's the, or conference. It's, it's American String Teachers um, Organization. And it's a wonderful place because all these, not only, they're, all, I think all good musicians teach. You okay. know, you've got to pass on what you do. Uh, and so the, the, the most greatest string players are there. Uh, for instance, I'll, I'm sure I'll see Mark O'Connor there. Uh, my good friend Rachel Barton, we made a CD back in the 19, 1998. Wow, I think that's... We played of all he heavy metal music. Oh, okay. With uh, two violins and a cello. And, uh, it's very cool stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah I, you know, and, and what I love about playing with the Rovers is that even though we are rooted in the in, in the traditions of Irish music, we also kind of, we push it. And I'm, my main thing is also improvisation. And, and Mick lets me stretch out and improv. There are some Irish groups that they 
play it all textbook. It's not a part of the tradition. We really go far out oh. of the tradition. Yeah. Okay. And, and yeah. with, with improv, I think you start creating new stuff. And that's yeah. one thing that I'm... That I feel in today's music that improv is lost. We don't. I one was you know. There's no guitar solos. That's right. my favorite right. thing of rock bands. That was yeah. very. You know, I always enjoyed going to a concert because it'd be that that solo. That'd right. Be, yeah. Right. And it might be. And it would probably be different. You know. I mean, what would Led Zeppelin be without Jimmy Page? You know. And 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 we don't have that now. And the guitar player was just as well known as the singer. And if he he or she was gone, then uh, then, then that band had to break up or something. Right. So. And you mentioned you teach. Musical improv. Yes. Could you explain to us exactly what that what, what that is? Well, besides the obvious, what is it? Well, the, the the my definition of improv is spontaneous composition. Okay. So all so you are making up music as you go. You know, similar to uh, you know a, you know a comedy improv or something. We are making this up now. Y you probably want to stay to some kind of structure, um, and there's different styles now. Back in the day, Mozart, Beethoven. Um, you know, Bach, they were all master improvisers. And look what they yeah. did. They created all this great music. Right. There are no master classical improv uh, right. people anymore. And that's what I'm teaching next week, actually. Okay. Um, but you can improv in all different styles, just like in Irish style. We, and we're going to do some of that, some little improv in we're the Irish We're not supposed styles. to, but we do. Well, yeah. they, they, it gets frowned <laughs> upon yeah. by some. There's some we're, traditional. We're that will just, they, they just frown upon that. But. You know, I, I just feel that we need to push the boundaries, you know, right. and so in, in all music. And so it's, you know, and of course, jazz is the one place where it's left, uh, is, is improv. Um, so it, it's making music, it's spontaneous composition. And okay. I, the really great stuff, you write it down. You know? Right, I understand. Yeah, the funny thing in following up what Edgar's saying is the improv, the improvisational element of music is what has created each and every style of music. But once it becomes a tradition, it's almost like it's chiseled in stone, like it's of the Bible, and you're not supposed to variate from it. But he's talking about Bach and Mozart and Beethoven. Beethoven rocked into town. He's just improvising, and that's how he got people's attention, and that's how he got a contract for composing, you know, and publishing and such. And it's the lost art of improv, and it's guys like Edgar that keep that going. That's that's one of the most important aspects of the furthering of music today. And one of the things here at Elmhurst College, I don't know if you know this, but uh, it is one of the best jazz schools in the world. And uh, when they asked me to teach here, I was really excited because I go, now nah, I'm, I'm going to be able to do this at one of the greatest. You know, we've already they already have great. You know, Mark Colby on saxophone and all these wonderful jazz improvisation. Uh, people on other instruments, but they didn't have strings, and so it's a really it's just a joy to te teach there as well. Oh, very good. Now I actually had the, I had the the luxury, and I want to thank you, Mick, in to, uh, invited me to sit in on his uh, one of his classes at the Old Town School of uh, uh -huh. Music. But that was com a completely different thing. That was Piano Bar right. 101. You know, I have to tell you, when I came back from Ireland in 1995, I immediately went to the Old Town School and said, you got to teach me how to play this stuff. And at the time, there was a famous band called The Drovers. Anybody remember The Drovers? Mike Kirkpatrick taught me how to play that style, which okay. is dadgad. It's tuned into a desuspended chord. It's a completely different... It was learning guitar all over again. So I got a really Really thank the school for giving me that opportunity, and I do teach there. But what I teach is not this. However, the Old Town School does book us, okay. and if anybody's interested in booking the Chicago Rovers, uh, Jenna Murphy is the person to call at the Old Town School. We're doing some colleges and festivals this year, and um, you know that's that's what I, th I that's what I learned. And that's what we're a part of that community. Okay, but. It's not not with, not the Rovers. I'm not teaching right. that. I'm teaching, right. teaching but, piano bar. But I had the luxury of, of sitting in on your class, and I just that want to let fun. you know that he, he's a great piano player. That's all. He's a great piano not player. Not as good as this guy. <laughs> oh, well. That's why I play guitar in this band. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If, for more information more on the, the Chicago you. Rovers, how could they contact you or check out your <clears> site? Uh, you could Google search us. You could, we have a Facebook page. You can. Uh, there's a lot of YouTube up there. And if you want to book us, the best thing to do is to go directly to the Old Town School. Ask for Jenna Murfin. She's the house booking agent. And uh, you can contact me. I'm a public figure. You can go to my website, mickarcher.com. These guys each have their own websites. Uh, we have a very exciting show coming up. It's at uh, St. Athanasius, March 12th. 
Uh, it's open to the public. That's in Evanston. We're doing Ditka's in Arlington Heights. Not exactly an Irish bar, but we play there on St. Patrick's Day. It will be that we have some day. a couple corporate parties. We've done some. You know, we've worked for Google and and like we've you know we yeah. go into companies and we give them their their little blast of Irish music once a year. But you know, it's it, we'd like to be able to do this all year round because we love this music. Great, and we'll get a sample of you guys right now. Sound good? Super. Good. All right, great. Thanks, guys. Thank you.